All right, let's go ahead and get started. So Scorpio, I feel a lot of heavy energies for you. Um, I'm actually quite exhausted as I'm reading um, and tapping into your energy. As I said before, I am an empath, so um, I feel lots of change, lots of heavy energy, lots and lots of change for you this month. I What I feel like for you, Scorpio, is I want to say to you, speak your truth. Um, like it's time for the real you to step forward. I feel that so strongly. Like I feel like a big theme this month for you, Scorpio, is having the courage to be yourself. Um, I feel like there's a lot of newness coming and there's a lot of fear. And I want to say to you, embrace the unknown. And I do feel like you're being encouraged to uh, take what would be considered a leadership role in a certain situation that's no longer serving you. Like it's time for you to step forward. Um, the overall uh, energy for the uh, reading this month is the seven of swords, which this is the card of, you know, deception. This is self-deception. Um, and that's what I feel more is coming off of this card is self-deception. Like I want to say to you, be honest with yourself, be honest with others. Um, really take the time to listen to what your heart is saying to you. And I also got the card, the angel advice card for you for the overall is was, was notice the signs. And this says, yes, the signs that you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feather coins and other signs upon your path to remind you that you are loved and that you are never alone. I also feel like what I want to say to you off of this card is please notice the angel numbers. Please notice the signs, the synchronicities, the repetitive um information that's coming from multiple people. This is your clear audience kicking in. Um, please quit ignoring, uh, the guidance that you're receiving, because I do feel like, again, you know, there's just a lot of self-deception going on. Um, and again, I just feel like it's time to step your truth. I feel, or step into your truth. I feel like what I want to say to you is it's like, you know what to do. So just do it. Um, big message for you this month, Scorpio, big message for you. Um, and I do want to say to you, you know, come from a place of love always, Come from a place of love always. Uh, I do feel like a lot of you are, um, I feel some fast action this month. Like uh, you may be getting some new ideas, some new creative ventures coming your way. And I want to tell you, like, act on it. Uh, and I do feel like it's fast movement. Like, um, it, almost like I want to say you have to jump on the opportunity. And I do feel like this has to do with your um, creative abilities, you know, creating a new beginning for yourself. Um yeah, I'm feeling that quite strongly, actually. Uh, and I do want to say to you as well, you know, uh, it's time for you to accept responsibility for yourself, Scorpio. Um, when you do receive some sort of... If, if there's some sort of new adventure, new creative uh, pursuit for yourself, uh, and you're not too sure if you're supposed to act on something, please do. I feel like I want to tell you to tame your ego. And I did pull the strength card for you on that particular message. Uh, so... Uh, allow yourself to be guided by your heart this month. Uh, allow yourself to be pulled in the direction that your heart is feeling. Uh, I want to say excitement towards, joy towards, abundance towards. Uh, you know, don't let the ego, self doubt, logic get in your way of that this month, Scorpio. It's not going to serve you. Um, yeah, definitely being being pulled into the creative venture, stepping into your power. What is it that you want? Um, because I do feel like when you do that, it's going to give you the opportunity to create emotional abundance for yourself and you're going to be very happy, but you're going to have to, um, basically step forward and go, okay, this is what I need to do. This is who I am. This is where I'm being pulled towards. This is my sole purpose. This is where I want to be. Um, this is truly who I am. You know, like I said before, speaking your truth. Uh, and I do keep getting creative pursuits, um, life purpose, just a lot of change, a lot of change. Um, I definitely feel like Scorpios haven't had it very easy. None of the signs have had it very easy over the last year, year and a half. Um, but I do want to say to you that it's the challenges that you've had to face recently, Scorpio, that is actually going to bring forth like all of this happiness for you, this, this abundance that's waiting for you. Um, and I do feel like I want to tell you to get out of your own way for some reason right now. I'm, I'm definitely feeling like that. Um, I pulled the Knight of Pentacles here, which is a slow, you know, moving, slow movement on the happiness, uh, slow movement on the, you know, the sun energy. And I do feel like that's because of some of these challenges that have been in your way as of lately. Um, I am feeling as well, like I want to say to you, I know there's a lot of self-deception going on. Uh, 
I do feel like I want to tell you as well to remain grounded and to stop being so hard on yourself because of these changes that are going, you know, going on. Um, and I want to say to you that you feel the way you feel for a reason. So please stop feeling so bad about that. Kind of seems like a silly message, but it's true. Yeah. And it's definitely, you know, it's, you're, you, I pulled the death card here and this is, you know, you kind of have to die to your old self in order for this new self to be born. And I want to tell you not to feel guilty about that, Scorpio. It's okay. There's a reason why this is happening. Everything happens for a reason. Stop being so hard on yourself. Um, again, I do feel lots of change for you. At the center of your card reading this month, Scorpio, is the tower. You know, and this is a lot of change. You know, old ideas, out ways of being, out ways of, you know, doing. Um, old thoughts and patterns that no longer serve you. Um, please allow those things to die. Um, because nothing's going to be able to grow without, without that, um, old life, old you. What I feel like I want to say to you is allow the little self to kind of die to the higher self. The soul knows. Yeah, absolutely. This is awesome. The, I pulled the ace of pentacles because when you allow this old way of being, these old ways of doing these old, I want to say habits, addictions, codependent type behaviors, um, you're literally going to be handed a new beginning. Um, Ace of Pentacles in a, is an amazing card. It's the universe handing you a new beginning, a new opportunity. Um, but in order for this to happen for yourself, you have to allow this change to move through. Uh, and I do want to say to you in regards to your wishes, your hopes, your dreams, your expectations, you have to be honest with yourself, Scorpio. You know, you can't always expect truth from other people, but you can always expect it from yourself. And in order for you to get what it is that you're wanting, what it, you're desiring, you know, where your soul is pulling you, you've got to be honest with yourself um, and allow yourself to feel your way through this. Be courageous. Yeah. Got the judgment card. Rebirth. I'm excited. I'm actually quite excited for you. What I feel like is if you could just be honest with yourself and allow things to just kind of fall away that are needing to fall away. Um, and what I want to say to you is go with the flow more. Uh, allow that divine feminine, you know, intuition to come through and then allow that divine masculine action to take place after that, you're going to be feeling really good. Uh, and I want to tell you for some reason, Scorpio, you can trust yourself. Quit with the, um, you know, you're a water sign. You're very intuitive. Quit allowing logic to, to take over the intuitive abilities, to, to take over what your intuition is trying to say to you. What I want to say is like, your intuition is emerging. Allow it. Follow it. You want to. Um, it's trying to take you in the direction that you're wanting to go, your soul's wanting to go. What's, you know, your highest purpose um, it's just your thinking. It's not the actual situation. It's just your thinking um, that's driving you crazy. So what I want to say here is rest, relax, enough with the overthinking, enough with the overanalyzing, and just allow um, your truth to come forward. Uh, and for those of you who are feeling like, you know, if you step forward into your truth, that you're going to be left out in the cold. Stop with all of that. That's just old ways of thinking that needs to die. And what I just literally heard was conditioning. It's your condition, the way you were raised. Um, and that was interesting. I literally just heard as well, um, making money doesn't have to be hard for some reason. I feel like somebody who's watching this video um, possibly, it, it reminds me of that book, um, poor dad, rich dad, or something like that. I feel like somebody who's watching this is feeling like if they step into their truth, they step into their power, you know, they're not going to have enough or they're worried that they're going to be left out in the cold somehow. That's not going to happen. You know, when you manifest from the heart, you can literally manifest miracles for yourself. So I just feel like that's a very strong message for you. Um, quit trying to hold on to money and uh, remember that money is simply energy. Um, and the more you hold on to something, you need to let it flow through you. I feel, I feel like there's a blockage in, in me somehow. Like, uh, I'm really scared about not being able to make more money. So I'm just going to hold on to what it is that I have, or I'm going to hold on to what it is that I have in the material world because I'm, I'm too scared to step forward into my truth. Um, and so I'm going to hold on to what's no longer serving me. And I just feel like you've got to let that go. 
You got to let that go because you're going to be able to move forward once you just allow um, this energy. I, I definitely, I feel this blockage. I feel like it's in my heart. I feel like it's in my chest. I literally feel like there's an elephant on my chest weighing me down right now. So um, you, you have everything that it takes um, in order for this new beginning to happen for yourself. Uh, and remember, you can do it. You absolutely can do this. You can step into your truth. You can be your authentic self. You can allow this rebirth to happen, Scorpio. You just have to have the courage to do it. Remember who you are. You are a being of love and light. You are an infinite being. You can manifest whatever it is that you want into reality. You just have to remember that um, you are being guided and you are to allow your intuit your intuition to guide you, not so much your mind. Um, I'm really surprised that I'm even having to mention that to you, Scorpio, being that you are a water sign. You're very intuitive. You are very deep. And I know that it takes you a long time to process things, which is just fine. Uh, but don't spend too much time overanalyzing. Don't spend too much time down there in those deep, murky waters. Uh, allow yourself to be guided. So I am going to pull three cards from the uh, Dorian Virtues uh, Magical Mermaids and Dolphin deck. I do love how practical this is. Uh, advice is and I just I just love these cards so let's see here I do feel the need to mention to you to just breathe as well um take some time in meditation I feel like I want to mention yoga and to simplify I feel so strongly like I want to say to you simplify your life Scorpio all right. Very cool. This, I mean, absolutely. The first card I have here is yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. This is what I was saying before. It's all about listening to your intuition and being honest with yourself and then having enough courage to take action as you're being guided to do so. So yes, notice the signs. You are noticing the signs, the synchronicities. They're happening for a reason. I literally just saw 1111 pop through my mind like 55 times as I just said that to you. So um, for those of you who are seeing those numbers, um, I feel like I want to say to you, take the time to look them up. Um, you know, it gets way deeper than 1111, 111, 222, 333, 444. It, it gets deeper than that. They get, they get very personalized from there. Uh, and I just heard as well that some of you guys are receiving your messages through music. So listen to that as well. Uh, the second card I have here is make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. Absolutely. This kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Allowing this tower energy to come through, knock down whatever is not serving you so that you can literally be handed a new opportunity of abundance. The universe is just waiting to give you what it is that you want. Let yourself receive. Let yourself receive. You've got this, Scorpio. Stand in your truth. Speak your truth. Honor your soul purpose. third message I have for you is divine magic. Extra, ma extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. Always, always stay as, as positive as you possibly can. I, that's what I was saying before. In order to get your wish, in order to get what it is that you're wanting, be honest with yourself. And um, I said at the beginning of this reading as well that I felt like I wanted you to uh, sit down and write in a journal what it is that you're wanting please do so. Um, anytime there's a new moon, eclipse, anything like that, I feel like journaling is really good for you. Um, you want to do that. I'm also going to pull three cards from the uh, Doreen Virtue Romance Oracle Angel cards um, as well. I feel just a lot of transformation for you this month, Scorpio. A lot of transformation. Realizations, epiphanies. But if I can mention this one more time, I do feel the need. Just breathe. All right. First message I have for you. Awesome. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. How awesome. So, you know, this could be whoever it is that you're thinking of right now. Um, you don't necessarily have to be with this person. Um, but... Uh, I love this. And, you know, when you're in any kind of soulmate connection, soul awakening connection, twin flame connection, whatever it is that you want to call it, of course, this is your soulmate. Uh, and I literally just heard, you know, um, conscious, conscience connection, conscious connection. It's 
second one I have is separation. Time apart from your heart. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And that's okay. This is all about discovering who you are, discovering yourself. Um, and what I feel like as well, for some of you who are in the deception mode, self-deception mode, who need to be honest with yourself, if you are in a connection with a person right now who it's just no longer serving you, um, this could be your confirmation that it's time to end that. But what I want to say is I feel like you already know this for who, whoever that applies to. You already know. And the third card I have is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Awesome. Very, very cool. And I believe we're in some sort of retrograde. I'm not an um, astrologer, but I do feel like we're in a retrograde right now that this is actually applicable right now. So, you know, uh, open, your, open your heart to any kind of possibility right now. Anyone coming into your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, who you want it to be or who you're expecting it to be. Just open your heart to um, any type of reconciliation. So 